Mobile Geek's coverage of IFA 2014 is powered by Asus and Mercedes-Benz. Hi guys, Sasha from Mobile Geeks. We still have two days to go until IFA officially kicks off. We're taking a look at the brand new Asus devices that just got launched. This is their latest tablet. That's a 7-inch tablet, the new Asus Mimo Pad 7. Actually, to be precisely, it's the ME572. This is going to be the very, very first Android tablet that is based on the 64-bit SOC because this is using the Intel Moorfield quad-core processor with a clock speed of up to 1.83 gigahertz. Has two gigabytes of RAM, 16 or 32 gigabyte of internal storage. And uh, depending on what version you're getting, um, it's in between 269 and I think 279 grams because um, the Wi-Fi version is 269 and the LTE version, yes, there will be an LTE version, is 279. It starts at 199 uh, US dollars for the 16 gigabyte version, which is actually absolutely amazing. What I love about this is look at the design of the backplate. It almost looks a little bit like a wallet and it also shows us the 5 megapixel camera on the back. There's a 2 megapixel camera on the front and when we look around this device here, so this is um, the slot for the SD card. Here on the bottom we have a connector for micro USB and on this side we have a power button and the rocker for the volume. I told you already that there's a 2 megapixel camera on the front. Yes, I did. Again, uh, 7 inch, 1920 by 1200 is the resolution. Let's take a quick look at which version of Android it's using. As you can tell, it's also using the Zen UI, which is one of my favorite launches out there. So it's running on Android KitKat 4.4.2. What I love about the Zen UI is, you know what, it's not overpowered with features and gimmicks and whatnot. Asus almost gives you a kind of vanilla Android experience. So this is a quick and dirty hands-on and look at the absolutely stunningly looking new Asus Mimo Pad 7 ME572. I'm Sasha for Mobile Geeks. Thanks for watching. Bye.